and before a burning bush that is not consumed, call 
to bring about this general state of affairs nationwide. Well, and you can thank uh, your former minister, Mark Copenhaver, for some of this. He wrote a book about it. Fifty years ago, the culture did most of our work. Church participation was assumed. If you weren't in church on a Sunday morning, you were out of step with the norm. Fifty years ago, our children were reared to be Christian by a myriad of social influences. You could coast with the current of our culture and end up a Christian, or at least call, be called one. In other words, good, sweet, succulent fruit just fell off the trees into our church abuse. Now that's an oversimplification. There was some work. But there were some good things about this state of affairs, but there were also some bad things. But I want to clarify something. Good or bad? We live in a post-Christian culture. It's a post-Christian culture. In other words, if you want to pick plums, if we want to pick plums, we have to shake the tree. So we're forced with some choices. We can become fundamentalists. We can undertake a wholesale rejection of modernity and science. We can pull into ourselves and we can declare anybody different from us to be unacceptable, impaired, substandard. I don't think it'll work. I believe, in fact, that's a religious system appropriate to yesteryear, if it ever was, but not to the new millennium. I believe the fundamentalist approach to theology is a practice based on fear. Or, we may drift with the current towards the other 
She'll be back when it really gets cold back there. She raised me during the 60s. She was a successful single parent at a time that was less accepting of that. One of the things my mother was forced to do as a single parent, and it never came naturally to her, was to drive. She didn't learn until she was 40 years old. When George came along, she went simply with driving. She thought George had a chauffeur. <laughs> he was. So she didn't need to drive. Well, one of the first things that I said to my mom after I buried George was, Mom, you got to learn to drive again. Because I'm 